Well, thanks for joining us. I thought I'd do this little extra for the DVD. I'm going to call it the uh, the Road to the Premier. It's Saturday, Saturday the 9th of April. Uh, we're now two days away from our premiere at the Real Cinema, and it's quite weird because at the moment we've actually got quite a bit of media interest in the project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record that and. Uh, Hopefully you'll see it all on, on this DVD. If you do hear a fire alarm go off, that's, uh, that's just some chicken bags I'm cooking, so don't worry about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a little look at uh, an article the whole Daily Mail has written on our film. And at the moment it's actually being posted on Facebook, so uh, let's have a look at that. Yep, so this is the, uh, the article in the whole Daily Mail. It reads, Hollywood film, oh I see what they've done there, Hollywood, instead of, anyway. Uh, Hollywood film The Reunion, shoot on a shoestring to get big screen premiere. And there's obviously us with a, a clapper board and that was undertaken two years ago in the winter, but it doesn't matter, it's the thought that counts. Good morning. Well it's 7am uh, in the morning. Uh, the 11th of April and today's our day of our film premiere, The Reunion. Uh, I have to say I didn't really get a, a very good night's sleep worrying about the whole thing but uh, it's quite exciting really because today we're going to do the media side of things. Uh, first thing we're doing this morning is we're going to be on the uh, the BBC breakfast show at 8.15 so we're going into town and we're going to do a live interview on radio which is quite nerve wracking and then later on today we're going uh, to the actual cinema, the show in the film, and we're doing an interview with uh, BBC TV. How exciting is that? Uh, that's going out tonight at 6.30 I think, on, on the news show, so should be good. Very exciting stuff. Hmm. I'm feeling uh, pretty uh, nervous but excited at the same time. I think I've had a full week sleep of I full week without hardly any sleep so I think you know when we do our TV spot later on the bags under the yards will be showing. <laughs> well I'll let you get in there then get in the BBC. I will do a bit. Sport on the way with Jay Catbog in ten minutes time, it's a quarter past eight. Can you name any feature length films made in Hull? Well probably you'll say Clockwise with John Cleese, that was one partly filmed in Hull, Paragon Station was featured on it amongst other locations but to be honest you would struggle to think of many others. Well Craig Briggs was equally stumped and uh, he's decided to uh, make a film of his own. Craig and Ian Burnett join me in the studio this morning. Craig is the, uh, the producer, Ian is the director of the film The Reunion which gets its premiere in Hull today. Good morning to you both. Thanks for coming in. Good, Good morning. morning. Um, let's start. Uh, Craig, can I ask you a bit about the film, the, the reunion, how this came about? Um, well, myself and Ian, um, we've been friends for a while now, and Ian makes sh has been making short films, and um, we decided um, Hull was underrepresented as a city to make f for feature films, so we got our heads together and thought, why not write a script and... Um, see it through to its conclusion, really. Why do you reckon Hull is underrepresented? Is it part of the geography? People just can't be bothered coming out this way? Well, what, what is it? Um, well, I'm not really sure on that. What do you, what, what, what's your thoughts on that, Ian? Um, well, I think, I think Hull, visually, isn't as, as stunning as somewhere like Manchester. Or, or, or Leeds, but saying that, Full Monty did very well, and that was that was shot in Sheffield. So it's, it's got quite an urban backdrop as Hull, and we filmed it with that in mind, haven't we? We've yeah. shot certain areas like the Old Town. It's it's got a nice texture to it as the Old Town, so we, we use that quite a lot in our film. So tell us a bit about the, the film itself, the reunion. What's it? What's it about? It's about um, three guys who are in the mid thirties, and they're all 
basically lonely, left on the shelf, and their life's not really going anywhere. And um, certain events happen which bring the three characters together. And the, the, the difficulty in describing the film is, if we describe too much, it gives too much of the, the plot away. Yeah, don't, don't, don't yeah. spoil the ending. Well, yeah. no, no. <laughs> if, if, you was to, if, you, if you was to sum up the film, it's basically about loneliness, isn't it? Yeah. And that's, that's the message. Yeah, and as, as really... was mentioned in the whole Daily Mail, peppered with a puerile sense of humour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a comedy <laughs> drama. Yeah. I take it not too happy with that right over here. Yeah. No, 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 we're, we're, we're very happy with it. You bang on the mark. Oh, yeah. oh that's all right then. That's yeah. good. Yeah, 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 good, good. <laughs> so, I mean, there is, there is humour in it. There's comedy in it. Yes, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, obviously, yeah, the, the film, we've been inspired by filmmakers like Shea Meadows and obviously Ken Loach, uh, the big sort of drama uh, directors. Mike but Lee. Yeah. Mike Lee as well, yeah. So what we've done is we've tried to make a drama, but obviously peppered with, with lots of comedic moments because it's one of the genres we really like is comedy and we yeah. think uh, it's nice to get a laugh, isn't it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> and, I mean, have you got sort of local people in it as well? We have. Um, the majority of the cast is basically being sourced from local people um, and we've acquired them you know through friends and family and um, every person um, that we've used in the film we've networked through them to see if they could uh, knew anybody they could bring on board to help us with the project we, really it was basically we, we did want to use professional actors uh, for the project and when we wrote the script we did have in mind that we was going to get funding for the project but once the funding doors were closed we decided we might as well make the film anyway so we started to use our friends family friends of friends so most of the people in it are actually actors but they do come across quite well really yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it, i mean would you call it a sort of whole film is it you know what I mean? Is, does, it, does it sort of sum up whole? Really? Absolutely, so, yeah. 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 And, and there's plenty of uh, accents. Obviously, w we wanted the regional accent in there because I'm from East Hull, and I think sometimes when when you see films shot in certain areas, they sometimes just use a generic accent. And we wanted the regional accent there, so that's why we used our our friends, family, uh, because they've all got very broad Hull accents. Yeah. Uh, is it a film that will travel though outside Hull? Do, do you think? Um, we we're not we're not really sure on that really because. Um, we don't think we're going to have a lot of joy getting it distributed because it's being shot on standard definition cameras. Yeah, and with technology being what it is now, if you want to get a film distributed, you have to have the, 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 the Blu-ray market, it's called, and obviously our film isn't Blu-ray. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, the, the themes in the film could travel. It's about yeah, loneliness, yeah, so yeah. I think a lot of people can relate to that. But, uh, obviously, because the film was shot on consumer equipment due to our budget constraints, it's not really a distribution material. That's very interesting. So, I mean, in a sense, you've got to have money behind you. You've got to backing to, to break into this, interview. Oh, no, absolutely. Uh, it's it's an hour and uh, it's an hour and fifty minutes long, uh, and that's that's a long running time to make a film with no money. Uh, so, yeah, you do need backing. You need backing most of the time for for the equipment you're going to be using. So, you can use the, the professional equipment, but you can buy good consumer cameras now from from the retailers, and anyone can really make a film, and they can edit in the bedroom with with the technology available. Isn't it a sad state of affairs? Though? Of the British film industry, if, if guys like you, you know, you, 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 as you say, you can't redistribute really because of the, the technology, because of the lack of backing, that means it, it sort of restricts people getting in, doesn't it? Well, it certainly yeah. does restrict people getting in, because when we was applying for funding, if your box, uh, sorry, if your f script doesn't tick a certain amount of box, you're already not in the funding remit. So uh, we uh, we basically decided to make it ourselves instead of changing the script to tick the boxes. And we, so. we just basically funded it out of our own pockets, That's really. Right, yeah, just credit card. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken a bit of a bashing us at the plastic, yeah. Uh, a little yeah, bit, yeah, 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 a little bit. Yeah. And obviously we did a lot of guerrilla-style filmmaking. We did shoot in the Paragon Station, like you said, with Clockwise. And, uh, <laughs> obviously we didn't uh, ask permission, so okay. we just went and did it. But, but yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, then I think at the end, the end result is, like, that people should be pleased that a city... Has, uh, sorry, a film has been made in the city. Yeah. You know, we think it's a scoop, really, with it being the first feature film. Even though it's, you know, not, like, high market, it's, it's still an achievement, we feel. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, you could hand on heart say, actually, the, the first feature film that's been shot exclusively in Hull, then. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah and, and it's nice to, to, to see the people in the film, all from Hull, everyone was really enthusiastic about the project, and there are a lot of people out there who do want to do the, do mm. the filmmaking. Mm. And it's so, so, tell us about the, the, the premiere, because you've got your premiere this evening at the Real Cinema, haven't you? Yeah, um, that's, fa that's thanks to um, a guy... Uh, He's part of a whole screen called um, Mark. Mark Ogden, so we'd really like to thank him for giving us a platform to screen our little film. 
Um, and it's basically, it's a, it's a cast, it's a cast, and I say crew because there's only us two who've shot it really, it's a cast premiere, so everyone involved in, in the project are coming down and we're all uh, obviously going to watch the film and then go for a few drinks to celebrate. Yeah, so. I think there's, it seats about 85 people screen to where it's showing, so we've not been able to sort of um, let the public come to see, you know, just open doors and anybody's seen it, because there's that many people in the film, 60 plus, plus their partners, friends, and that, uh, we, we, we think we've got the full capacity anyhow, really. So will there be a chance you, you, for, for people to see this at, at a later date uh, then? Yes, yeah. definitely. What we're going to be doing is, uh, once we've premiered the film, uh, we're then going to basically set up a website and we're going to put it online for people to, to watch for free because everyone who have given the time to us, they've all done it for free, so it would be wrong for me and Craig to profit from the film. So yeah. it's basically, it's just going to be a free download or, or a free streaming watch online film. Okay. okay, let's know when you get the website up and running, we'll pass we'll, we'll, on. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll do. Enjoy your evening this evening. Thanks, thanks, very very much. Much. thanks, thanks a lot for coming in. Cheers, thank you. It's yeah, Ian Burnett and uh, Craig Briggs there joining us live on the show. 8.22. Travel news now, latest with Jonathan Gold. Good morning, Andy. Uh... Well, here we are. So excited about your film. I've come six hours. Oh, look, we've got music. Uh, about ten past seven, I reckon you could get quite full, so I'm sure you... Yeah. Well, here we are in the uh, screen two where they're showing the film tonight <laughs> and uh, we're going to do some interviews now with the BBC Look North team and it's going to be on the telly tonight so it's, uh, it's pretty exciting. As you can see we've brought Steve along, Sarah and uh, we're going to the fruit market in a minute to do some interviews there as well where we shot the end of the film so it's all exciting stuff. Is that your music then? Yeah we got some African tribing to sing a song for the end of the credits. I see. Just to tick that box. It's, it's, it's the party atmosphere then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought it was the standard. So you don't go sweaty now. Do you look all sweaty? Yeah, I ran down the road. Are, are you working today? Yeah, yeah I finished a lesson at uh, basically at half past twelve uh, at Wilberforce College. Yeah. Framing slightly off, but so I can send you an email to see you'll yeah, attend the next lunch time. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a full lunch break. All right, all right. So, uh, what's just happened now then? What's going on? Well, um, we're waiting for the BBC to um, create these sort of fake project shots which is which is supposed to be happening like me and you are on our next movie apparently but uh, <laughs> and are you in that then sir yeah i think so yeah <laughs> yeah the most demanding role where um, lots of head movement is required <laughs> i think it's isn't it called the head mover yeah the, the, this head, room, mover, the head yeah. mover yeah no, i talk about the weather a lot but yeah. <laughs> it it's sounds be, more exciting yeah, than the film it, it, done. It, it, <laughs> right we're here on uh, fruit market and we're doing uh, our interviews for the BBC, Look North, and at the moment Steve's been interviewed, so let's let's go see him. Okay. Uh, it's weird. I mean, it's a lot of people sort of come together and you find that a lot of people will uh, bend over to help you. Know? It's like uh, you get a lot of opportunities, but you have to dig deep to find that. So, uh, How was your interview going? It was good. Yeah. It was good, I felt I got my, uh, my point across. Good, good. You didn't slag anyone off then? No. <laughs> I bit my tongue. <laughs> Plenty of fun. Now it's taken two years to complete and tonight a film that has been entirely shot in Hull gets its official premiere in the city. The film has been made by two friends who've managed to complete the movie on a shoestring despite having no experience at all of filmmaking. Phil Connell has been to meet them ahead of tonight's big premiere. Are you ready? On three. Three, two, one. Action! With £200 and with no feature film experience, Craig Briggs and Ian Burnett have okay, joined a world of fame, glitz okay, and glamour.
The two friends have spent two years making their film in locations all over Hull, and with starring roles from friends and family, their feature-length film gets its big screen premiere tonight. The only scenes that have not really had the pressure on is like when we've had the luxury of being able to film inside somebody's house. Yeah, and like my mum's house. Yeah, sometimes. things like that. <laughs> <laughs> my mother went on holiday, so we just filmed in our house for the week, which is quite handy. Despite its small budget, Craig and Ian's film has big ideas. It runs for almost two hours and tells the story of three single men. Good morning. Good morning. It's got his headphones. <laughs> Can we just cut there, sir? Yeah, there's a, there's a van in the background. We're going to have to cut there. As well as shooting, directing and producing the film, Craig and Ian also have starring roles. Well, lots of people have got latent talent. They just don't know they've got, got it in them. And I think once they, they try something like this, they'll probably get a lot of enjoyment out of it, really. Yeah. And that, that's what's good about tonight, the fact that all the people who've been in the film will turn up tonight and see themselves on the cinema screen. Alongside the main actors, none of whom were paid, 70 willing extras also gave their time for free. I was looking forward to seeing it and it, it's, it's a really surreal experience and not one that I'm sure I'm entirely comfortable with. The aim now is to create a website so people can view the film for free, a blockbuster project in which Ian and Craig's home city is the central star. Phil Connell, BBC Look North, Hull. Just reading a text that's come in from Mr Metcalf. He says, amazing, the people who did this film should be thanked by the city. It's never easy not having Hollywood effects. So we wish them well with the uh, premiere of that film, which I haven't seen, but I'd like to. Uh, all shot in uh, Hull. This is quite good. Another article has uh, popped up on the internet. This one from uh, the BBC. Uh, it says, Hull amateur feature film gets big screen premiere. A feature film shot in Hull by two local amateur filmmakers will be premiered in the city. Friends Craig Briggs and Ian Burnett have spent their past 18 months filming their first full length film which will be premiered in Hull. It's quite good. There is more to it but I'm not going to read the full thing. But. Well here we are now walking into St Stephen's. Uh, for our big premiere. Let's do it. Well, we, we might as well. It's not going to harm anyone, is it? There you go. <laughs> might harm me. Very exciting. Yeah. Don't talk to me, talk to him. Yeah, it's very exciting. It's the start of the big night. Eagerly anticipated. Yeah. Hope it doesn't go down like a knackered lift. <laughs> I'm quite nervous actually. It's video. Yeah, it's video. Oh. <laughs> You're a media student, you should know it's video by now. <laughs> it's a weird. Uh, obviously, you're not going to be watching Hollywood because uh, you was in it and you know exactly how the filming went with our hysterical laughter and all the rest of it. So, you ain't going to see anything like Martin Scorsese or Steven Spielberg. Steven, I would have liked some a joke, but it's more like drums. Not <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we hope you enjoy it. There is some bad language and things like that in it, and if you are offended by masturbation, then that might be an issue. So, thanks for coming. We hope you enjoy it. All the would have wanted him to say a few words about their fond memories they shared. Raymond, please come on. Here we are in the pub after the little screening. Uh, I think it went sort of all right, so everything's good. And there's Howard who's in it. Uh, and in front of me is all the rest of the people. Can you? I really can't. What yeah. can I say? <laughs>
Here we are, and uh, we're going home now after the premiere. We're all uh, slightly intoxicated, but I think it's been a good night. We've got some really good feedback, and uh, he's not, he's, he's yeah, cool as a cucumber. Everything's good, and these two are pissed. It's, no, I am pissed. I was talking about copyright music. <laughs> I am pissed. And the fact that you want to take judge, if no, you want to you know. you you <laughs> get your music to a <laughs> festival, then. Done. Well, any music, fe uh, any film festival, oh. then you're gonna have to get rid of the copyright music because you can't afford the rights to it. Composer. The thing is, before you so it's been an eventful musician. night, and I think <laughs> now would be the time to wrap it up. So we're gonna, go, gonna get in the car. I'm slightly intoxicated, and uh, that's it. Thank you very much. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully, we'll see you on the uh, the next project. We've got a great quality product, but we don't.